Welcome back, sir. Then the Griffin is defeated. Blessed relief, that. All who walk Grancis roads will rest easier for it. Tis welcome news, too, for trade. You and the others who fought have my thanks arisen. You are to see me for your assignments, and no one else. I speak for his grace on such matters. My word is his. As such, any task deserves your full and immediate attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. You've a stake in this, and a right to hear, sir. You know of Forneville, I? He is among the wealthiest of Grand Soren's merchants, though now he stands to lose all. He is accused of a litany of crimes. I would beg a favor, if you've the time. It seems Forneval was as busy in his underground dealings as in his honest work. His bill of crimes includes bribery, fraud, abduction, the selling of secrets, even collusion with salvation. The inquest continues as we speak. Should the present tide prevail, he will likely be found guilty and put to death. Opinions are split, however, on the credibility of the present proofs and testimonies. A few days yet remain before the matter is decided. I ask that you go and gather what facts you can. Any proof is welcome, be it evidence or testimony, aught that clearly shows his guilt or innocence. Justice must be done, and for that, we've need of the truth. Forneval's inquest will not wait for us long. I recall hearing of Forneval. Well, met, sir. Someone must know something about this matter. Us. Let's ask around. The guards do have much to worry on. I've heard tell that Forneville stands trial. None's the pity. I fancy myself the forgiving sort, but I'll not mourn his passing. I'm scarce the only one who's wronged either. The man built his fortune on the backs of honest folk. I'll gladly add my name to a petition if it means no others need suffer at his hands. I heard of Forneville's inquest. Serves a lot right, says I. I'll sign any petition you set before me, if it means he'll hang for what he's done. He deserves no better after what he did to my family. Pornival's met with an inquest? Tis past time the law caught up with that rat. I'll not forget the pain he caused me as long as I live. The caitiff put my house to ruin. I shall sleep better a nights, knowing no others will suffer the same fate. Let him rot. I gladly commit my name to the petition for his conviction.
Steady on! Seems the castle walls are reached by a flight of stairs ahead. Forneval stands trial? Tis a pity. In truth, the man was profligate. His ostentation earned him envy and enmity in equal parts. But he was not the sort of man to seek profit in the misfortunes of others. I will add my name to the petition. I shall pray that his innocence is proven. Madness and base insult. You there, you're an able sort. There's time yet before my trial is decided. Pray, arrange for my acquittal however you may. If you see me through this storm, I'll sell to you at cost for the rest of my days. Tis a generous offer, eh? Now go, and pray put an end to this farce. I am eager to be quit of this confinement. Please, sir. Even my father's innocence arisen. Please, please help him. You are to see me for your assignments, and no one... I speak for his grace on such matter. Pray, make your choice, sir. I would ask you to... Material... The inquest... How do you fare? I hear old Thornival is the subject of an inquest. His conviction would bring me no joy. Not least for the loss of revenue I would suffer. Arisen, I have a proposition, sir. I've long had dealings with Fornival and want to believe in his innocence. Pray, take a petition for his acquittal from me, that it may help sway his arbiters.
You are to I speak to pray to make your choice. I would ask you to seek out material evidence, testimonies, witness. The inquest has but a few days remaining. I think. Good. You've brought evidence. Here. I shall see it submitted to the court. There's time yet, sir. Pray, continue in your efforts. You are to see me. I speak. Pray, make your... I would ask you to seek out material... The inquest... Good. You've brought... It. Here. There's time. You are to... I speak. Pray. Make your... I would ask... Material... The inquest... Good. You've brought... It. Here. There's time yet. You are to... I speak. Pray. Make your... I would ask you to... Material... The inquest... Good. You've brought... Here. There's time yet, sir. You are to see... I speak... Pray. Make your... I would ask you... Material... The inquest... Good. You've brought evidence. Here. I shall see it submitted to the... There's time yet, sir. Pray. Continue. Seems like Pornable may be found guilty. Well met, sir. on the roads and we'll soon find monsters. Some beasts still remain. It is well ancient this bridge. I hope it still holds. Splits here. Let's be doubly sure of which will see us to our destination. Look over there. Is that some sort of structure? Oh, my God. 
beast has its weakness. Observe closely and learn to exploit it. It is weary work, standing guard in hostile lands. Morale than falter. Sir Dario knew something of Vornable, I believe. It is an imposing sight from so close. Even the dragon's coming is not enough to unite men's hearts as one. The messenger brought word of Fornival's trial. More's the pity. He furnished our arms at quite the favorable rate. We'll be as cats without claws, should he be kept from doing business. I do not know the man well, but I cannot stand idly by and see him come. Testimony given in person will carry more weight than a missive. Yet I cannot leave this place. Pray, take one of my men with you back to the capital. He will speak in my place. You do Fornival a service, sir. And us with him. I will send word ahead for a man to await you. Pray, speak to him directly. Grand Sorin guards, so far from the capital. The best men in the strongest hold are powerless without supplies to live on. Seems the Jew games to... Let's have a look at that rise I'm called Castor. Sir Dario has informed me of my duties. I'm thankful to have you accompanying me to the capital. Shall we be off? Very well, sir. We must see...